Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another Oh, wow! moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. So for the next few weeks on Oh Wow Moments, we're gonna be studying electric circuits. We're here in How Does It Work at our circuits component, where my two assistants, Avery and Maddie, are gonna demonstrate how to set up a simple circuit. That's really good, so tell us what you did. Well, I put the red wire into the red switch. And I plugged the black wire into the black switch. And then we matched them up. So each one of these devices is connected to a pair of holes here. All you have to do is hook up one wire to one side of the battery, the other wire to the other side of the battery, and then match them up to the two holes. That creates your electric circuit where the electricity flows from one side of the battery to the device, and then from the device back to the other side of the battery. That's an electric circuit. Let me show it to you a different way. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous. So always have a responsible adult helping you. We're going smaller scale. For this, we'll need a battery pack with batteries, a light bulb and socket, and two wires. Now, Avery and Maddie will once again try to create a circuit. Okay, so I'm gonna hook up the black wire to the black wire and the red wire to the red wire. And I'm gonna hook both of them up to these two terminals. The source, the battery in this case, is what provides electricity for the circuit. The path, the wires in this case, provide a way for the electricity to flow in a circuit from the negative terminal of the source to the load, then back to the positive terminal. The colors of the wire don't really matter. They just help visually organize the circuit. And then finally, the load. The light bulb in this case uses the electricity being generated by the source. But there is one more very important piece to most circuits, even though it isn't essential. Uh, the switch. A switch allows us to control the flow of electricity through a circuit. In this case, our knife switch allows us to either close the circuit and let electricity flow through, or open the circuit and prevent electricity from flowing by creating a gap in the circuit's path. Wait a minute. So if we go back to the circuit's component, So this is the source, this is the path, and that's the load? Exactly! But how does the electricity actually power the device? Well, Next time, we explore the nature of electricity, including voltage and current. This has been another Oh Wow Moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play.